Well, folks, today here on GeekSmart, we're setting up another piece to our Ubiquiti Unify system. Uh, this is the Ubiquiti Unify Smart Plug. Essentially, it's a way for the router to automatically power cycle my modem if something was to happen where it stops receiving internet for some reason. So. Yeah. Hey folks, welcome back to GeekSmart, and today we're setting up the Unify uh, Smart Switch um, for the Unify Network. So like I said, this essentially allows the uh, Dream Machine Pro that I already have installed to control or power cycle my modem should the internet drop out for some reason. It's just one way for the Dream Machine to automatically try to take care of itself uh, if something was to, to freeze up on my modem. Now, I do have a nice... Uh, Motorola, or no, I'm sorry, Aris surfboard. It's the the newest one, I guess, the S30 model, which is their. It's a really good surfboard uh, cable modem. This is going to work with any modem what you should have, because this actually just is a smart plug that go, that goes into the the plug where you're plugging the modem in, and then the modem plugs into it. So it's like any other smart plug that you would use for a lamp or whichever. But let's pop open this little box, take a peek at the rig inside. Okay, so we have the little box here. As you can see, it's just the USP-plug.us because this is the US version. So it's ready to plug into 110. That is a pretty simple device, right? And it looks like there's a button on the side that you can actually control it manually, just like any smart plug, to be honest. Um, but essentially, it just plugs into my um, surge protector and then the plug for the modem plugs into the face here. And then we should be able to set this up within the Ubiquiti app, I'm assuming. Um, I've never actually set one of these up, so let's figure it out. Let's go plug it into the, let's unplug the modem, I guess. Plug this in where it needs to go. And uh, yeah, set her up. First, I'd like to apologize for the noise, but this is a utility room, so I got the water heater and everything making its stuff. My modem is currently still on, if you can see the blue light here. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it from my surge. Boom, you just see the light goes out. So all we're gonna do is literally plug this into the plug and the plug back into the surge. Or if you have a UPS, I haven't gotten my rack mountable UPS yet, so I don't have that yet. But power's back up, so you can see that there. Um, we're gonna let that boot back up, let it get going so I have internet, and then uh, we'll go through the, we'll see if we have, what we have to do in the Unify app to get that to be controlled. Okay, so we're gonna go do this to the Unified Network now. Now, I actually, just before I got to this point, after the internet came back up in my house, um, I actually received an, uh, a, a notification from U Ubiquity, or from the Unif my Unify app, saying, hey, there's a new device ready to set up. I accidentally cleared that out, so I can't show you that. But that said, it, it did come through. But we're gonna go ahead and open up the app and pretend that notification didn't come through. UDM Pro, there we are right there. Give it a second to boot up and find everything. So let's see what we have here. Hit the devices, and there it is right there. So if we go to devices, USP plug, pending adoption wireless. Let's go ahead and click on it. Pending adoption, let's hit adopt. Let it add in. So right now it's adding. We'll give it a minute. Still says adding wireless, but you can see the currently in use it is on. And there we are. It is fully connected, wireless, up for five minutes now. Um, you can see it has one outlet. It's enabled. Uplink, users, locate. You can do all that. You can see the IP address. Um, let's hit configure. So we can change the LED, the LED status site settings, create an alias, customer, or, 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 custom upgrade, copy configuration, just like any of the other devices. But that's it. We are now fully set. They're not like anything in the Unify system. It is ridiculously simple. So if you are a small business or even a large house that has this Unify system, um, if you're looking to make sure that this can automatically uh, restart your modem if necessary, this is the way to do it because it can now control the power going to my modem and power cycle it automatically without me doing it. Now I can also do this remotely, but if I was to, you know, if it, if I was to hit the uh, uh, you know, turn it off manually probably, 
uh, it would lose power to my whole system and I wouldn't be able to control it manually or manually, just like any smart plug to be honest. This basically powers it off and then powers it back on for you. So it's a, it's a big step in the right direction. So there you have it. That is the full setup of the Ubiquiti Unify smart plug. Ridiculously easy, but then again, almost any everything that I've ever set up in the Unify system is ridiculously easy. It's a very powerful system. It gives you a lot of capabilities, and this just makes sure that even when you're not around, um, because it's happened where the internet has gone out, uh, and really it only needed a power cycle on the modem. Now, it hasn't been since I got the new modem, but I've only had that for a few months, um, so it's it's hard to say in that regard, but it's always nice to have a system that will try to take care of itself so you don't have to worry as much about it. Um, I love the Unify system. It's easy to control from the app. It's easy to be able to see everything. And uh, in this case, now I can actually control the modem because it's not part of the Unify system. That's a big plus. But like I said before, you can't do this with a third-party smart switch because while you could, you could be able to kick off it remotely, you wouldn't be able to turn it back on automatically because you wouldn't have internet access in the house, so you would lose connection to everything in the house. In this case, it does it for you. It's a big plus. Um, cheap. I bought this myself. This is not something that they sent to me. 19 bucks, And uh, for 19 bucks, in my opinion, well, well worth it. So, uh, Ubiquity, keep up the good work. Um, I hope to keep trying more of your new stuff. Um, this has been out for a little while, but... I finally added it, and uh, actually I've had it, I bought it at the same time I bought my U6 Lite um, access points, I just haven't gotten around to install it, uh, because I figured, oh, I'll install it once I run my new uh, RG6 line, uh, upgraded RG6 line that doesn't have couplers in it at all. So, that said guys, thank you for watching, thanks for sticking to the end, we'll catch you back here on GeekSmart for another future video review. I will put links down below to this, and uh, I'm sure I'll have a, an actual full review, even though it's... Pretty small product, but I will review it as well on TechCooch uh, after I have used it for a while. So we'll see you soon. Take it easy.